Okay then, morning everybody. It's a beautiful late September morning. Um, I'm just in me coming to my workshop uh, to continue with doing a bit to boiler, and I just thought I'd up, update you where I'm up to. Uh, all yesterday I spent basically doing a, a load of marking out and measuring and positioning of the of the holes and where the valves are going to go. As you can set. see, I've got it all assembled together now, at boiler, so it. it you can probably get a better visualisation of all them parts I were making at an earlier stage in the project. And uh, if you were like me, you sometimes wondered, wondered you know, how, how it were all going to fit together. But I've got it all together now, and if you can see up the firebox here, that's where me, where all my two positions are, uh, in that single flange plate. And then on the out on this backhead flange, I've got all my regulator sight glass, water sight glass uh, stays, and various other bits and pieces on that. And then on top here, I've got my uh, safety valves and my manifold valve. And also, I don't know if you can see on the video, I've put centre lines down every component, uh, on co every component. If I can get my words out. And at the top, where they meet, I don't know if you can see, I'll just zoom into that. I've put little centre dot marks on the ends of the tube, on, on every component, on every flange, so I can line them up when I come to silver soldering and everything's going to be parallel. Um, Yeah, so that's what I were doing yesterday. I'll just finish off of showing you what else I were doing. Um, the check or like valve positions, one on each side. And then on the other side at throat plate here, you can see where stay, stay holes are going to be positioned. And then on the... Um, I think my light's dazzling there a bit. On the front of the barrel, all the positions of the tubes and where the steam header comes through and the two stays and uh, here's all my tubes so there's 20 the tubes to go in well there's 18 of these tubes and two larger super, super heater tubes to fit right so I'm moving on to making the the phosphor bonds boiler bushes now um, I, I, I don't think I'm going to show you making them all because basically when you've seen one done uh, the others are just the same, it's just different sizes, that's all, and different taps for the thread. So I'm starting off with these three here, in, in this this side here, and uh, the 7 8 OD, uh, they've got an 8th, um, I call it a top hat type thing, and then the diameter that fits into the boiler is 11 16 which is three sixteenths long, uh, and it's tapped half inch twenty six TPI. So I'm just I call them top hat bushes because uh, they look like a top hat. Uh, so I've got three of those to make. Uh, I've got the tapping size for twenty six teeth per inch, half inch, which is twelve millimeter. Which I've got the drill in now, and I've just started to drill that. And I'll just um, I'll just finish that depth. So I'm making three bushes. So I'm drilling to a depth of just over one inch, so I can get three bushes out of it. So that's me, uh, me all ready for tapping. Now, I don't know, a little tip for you here. I don't know if you can see I've put some uh, kitchen roll on my lathe to catch all the bronze. Uh, what I do, I bag it all up. I'll just show you. I've got this bag here, and it's it's full of bronze and brass and copper 
turnings. Uh, take that to scrap yard. And last time I got 150 quid back. So uh, just a tip for you there. Quite heavy though when I took it. I don't take them that often, but it does uh, it does build up after after a time if you save all your shavings, your brass turnings, bronze or copper. Anyway, I digress. Uh, so I've got the old drill ready for tapping. I'm just going to. Uh, turn this top diameter down now to uh, 11 sixteenths. I've got my tool stuck out a little bit further than normal, just purely and simply so you can see and tool pulse is not in the way. So I've got to get down to 11 sixteenths, which is 0 0.687 in, in thousands. Right, so I'm down to 687 now, uh, I've just got to turn the top and then part it off once I've tapped it. bush made <clears throat> I've just got to face the back up where I've parted it off uh, uh, so I've got about 20 20 bushes to make of various sizes I think there's three this size um, so I've not used any uh, tapping or lubricating compound while I were doing threat tapping or machining purely and simply because it can leave a residue that's difficult to to get off and when you're silver soldering it can affect the silver solder flow uh, so I've I've made these completely dry and it's only phosphor bronze so it's not difficult to machine uh, so I'm gonna carry on now making rest at 20 and uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna show that because it's just repeating the procedure I've just done with this one 
to have you now. They're all finished now. I'll just zoom into them a little bit. So, them three there were for me uh, on the drawing here. They're for me it's two safety valves and my manifold. These four over here are for my water gauge bushes. These three are for one's for blow down, two's for clack valves. Then we come to these over here. Um, these are for the regulator pads. These four here are the mounting brackets for the feet. And these two are the closure plate bushes. And uh, the closure plate bushes, I'll just explain them. It's it's the it's the front plate for the fire. This is for this is for for feeding the fire. This is for taking the ashes out. These closure plate bushes fit in two other stay holes, and they're just to accept a mechanism on this plate for this to fasten to. That's all they are. Um, so. While I was on my lathe as well, I managed to get the steam header bushes. This one with the uh, counter, not counter bar, with the with the um, re not recess uh, spigot. Sorry, it's been a long day. That spigot goes into front front of, of the front plate like so, and that's silver soldered in. Then this piece is soldered to the steam pipes, which then bolts onto that. And the steam pipes are coming off here at 45 degrees, if I get in shot. So that's going to be going, going into plate, front plate. That'll be bolted on at steam pipes coming off at 45 degrees. So that's my steam header. Uh, and they're all made out of gun metal, which is basically cast phosphor bronze. Uh, just a word of warning, if you're thinking of doing a boiler, don't make them out of brass, because brass uh, steam has a funny reaction on brass, apparently. Uh, it, it causes it to de-zincification, de apparently. So... Make sure it's phosphor bronze that you're using. Tomorrow I shall move on to um, drilling all the holes in the boiler to accept all these bushes. So anyway, I'll catch you on my next little clip. And uh... Okay then, just a quick update. Uh, I thought I'd just show you this. Uh, <clears throat> I've managed to get me, uh, me holes drilled now in all my um, tubes. I say all of them, nearly all of them. I've just got the regulator to do on this. Uh, as you can see, I've got all these done. I've got my stay holes uh, done in uh, in all the components, and they all match up now. And what I'm uh, <clears throat> what I'm doing now, well, I'll just show you this barrel. I've got me. Uh, these two holes here, one on each side, they're just below centre, they're for to clack valve. Uh, so I've got them done. And uh, how I've done them, I've done them in my vice. In, in my big and I'm using uh, one of these cone drills for sheet metal. And I found it's, it's doing a really good job. I was going to do them in my drilling machine. Um, First of all, the the bigger eight inch diameter tool was awkward to to clamp in anyway. So I've managed to get it in my six inch vice and and do it by hand, and it's done a good job. I'll just show you this in action. Uh, I'm going up to this mark here on me on me drill on my sheet metal drill for half inch diameter.
So uh, that's how I've been doing all my holes and I've, these are all for my tools to go through now. I've just got the other tool plate to do. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on my next part.